All right, welcome to Neuro Movement with PD Active. My name is Stephanie. Uh, today we're just going to do a nice blend of floor based movements, uh, Pilates exercises, and some eye movements to get our sensory system involved. But first, before we get on the floor, I want you to stand or sit in a chair and just notice how your body feels in this moment. Notice how your feet land on the ground. Pigeon toes, are they turned out? Do you have one foot in front of the other? How did you land in your spot? Just your default. Noticing too, like which leg you bias your weight into. Are you weighted kind of more in your heels? Do your toes lift when you're standing? Or are you more in a forward lean? Or do you sort of bobble between all those places? What about your knees? Finding some softness in your knees. Do you tend to be locked super straight? Are you tending to be a little bent? Or do you have some buoyancy there? Maybe bobbling right, left, right, left, kind of in a tread. Mm -hmm. And then how are your hips? Can you sway your hips from side to side? Can you stick your hips back? Can you push your hips forward? And then what about your spine? How mobile are you feeling in your spine? Can you side bend and kind of hinge at your waistline or your belly button? What about rolling through, rolling to the other side, finding your side bend? I call this a rag doll. Your arms and your head are sort of raggedy and you're just letting your spine roll through. Maybe rolling in a full circle where you're extending back and then rolling forward. Let's make sure we get both directions. Again, feeling how is that spine moving today? Good. And then what about your arms? Go ahead and swing your arms. Can you swing them high past your ears? I recognize that I'm getting out of the frame. I framed us for forward today. <laughs> Camera? Yep. What about side to side? Can you clap behind you? Right, and then shake out your hands and your wrists, maybe flick some fingers, all of the finger drills, thumb, index, middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger, and all five fingers, shake it out. And what about your head and your neck? What if you turn to the left? How far can you turn your head before your body starts rotating? And same thing over to the right side. How far can you lift to the right without your body rotating? And moving from right to left there. Right to left, right to left. Mm -hmm. Yep, two more. And last one. Good. And shake it out. Go ahead and find some hop in your knees, maybe even an actual hop with some fancy in your feet. Notice all the jiggly bits. We want to be jiggly. We don't need to be so stiff. Yeah, marching or bouncing, letting your arms just flop around, let your, your hips push, find a little dance, a little shimmy. I love that. Love it. Three. Two and one. All right, we're gonna bring it down to the mat. If you have your own way of getting it, getting down to the floor, go ahead and do that. If you wanna follow my narration, go for it. We're gonna take the left foot and we're gonna step back with the left foot. And then we're gonna bring your right foot underneath you. Yep. And then we'll bring our hands to the ground. Drop one hip to the floor. And swing your legs around. And then you're gonna lie on your back. Let's bend our knees up when you're down here. Your feet are gonna be about apart. Let your knees go from side to side. As you know, this is our holding pattern. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, letting everyone get adjusted. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna turn this knee rotation. Uh, Carrie, I was just thinking about you. It's like, I gotta text Carrie today if she doesn't show up. All right, so we're gonna go, knees are gonna fall to the left and you're gonna roll, hi Carrie. We're gonna bring your left arm up towards your ear and roll yourself over and reach as far as you can to the left side of your room. Okay, we're gonna bring ourselves back onto our back. Your knees are gonna swim over to the, swim, swing over to the right. You have your right arm attached here and we're gonna lift up and over and reach to the right side of the room. And then nice and slow return. Bring your knees up and over to the left. Swing the left arm up by your ear, sweep the other arm around and stretch forward. Mm -hmm. Sweep the hips back and bring yourself onto your back. Let your knees drift over to the other side. Swim the right arm up, swing the left arm up and across. We're gonna move through this several more times. Go ahead and move at your own pace. Take your time. Let it be slow and deliberate. Maybe there's some aspects that you do a little slower and some aspects that you do a little faster. So as you roll back and switch sides, maybe pick up your pace and then reach nice and slow. Roll back super fast, push the knees, sweep across really slow. Yeah, playing with different tempos, right? One more time on each side, make sure you're even. I was gonna say one more time, but that would mean that would want to be uneven. And we're gonna finish just with your uh, legs bent and your legs in the back. Okay, walk your feet in a bit more so that they're underneath your sit bones, get ready for bridging. Palms facing up, wide columns. We're gonna press the hips up towards the ceiling. Let's articulate on the way down. So you're gonna soften the space in between your shoulder blades and have that come in contact with the mat first and then allow yourself to roll down nice and slow. Release the tail at the bottom. Press your hips up towards the ceiling. Take a moment here and then articulate down. So soften the space in between your shoulder blades and roll through. Nice job, team. We go up, roll on down. One more time, we press up and roll on down. Nice job. Slide your legs out long so they're long and then dorsal flex your feet. Uh -huh. Swing your arms up past your ears and reach. You're going to be dorsal flexing the feet and reaching in the arms. We're gonna swing the arms down, point your feet and curl your head and shoulders up, up off the mat. So a little ab crunch, a little ab curl. Yeah. And we're gonna flex and reach up overhead. Inhale, almost arch, point and curl up off the mat. So a little crunch, a little ab curl. Yep. Sweep the arms up, flex the feet. Here we go, a couple more times. You can work out a piece that makes sense for you. Beautiful, just feeling some fluidity in your movement. You were in water and just letting your water. Yeah, just floating on your back in the pool. One more time, reaching open and curl. Nicely done. We're gonna bring your right knee in towards your chest and you're gonna grab on top of your shin. Grab on top of your shin. Roll, uh, bring your legs across the body and roll up to your left side. Uh -huh. And then roll, push off with that left elbow and help you roll over onto your right side. Push off your right elbow and help you roll over to the other side. So we're just rocking from side to side. And I want you to go the full spectrum. So like all the way over, all the way over, all the way over. All the way over. massaging your back, 
as you're curling through bonus points if you can keep your head lifted off the ground but if you need to rest your head back no problem and last one we're going to squish your feet so you slide that other leg out bring your other leg in left leg in ground just want to pull it in close and just start rolling from side to side Hey. Yeah. Let's go two more. And then finish on your back. Send that leg out long. All right, we're gonna go another chunk curls. This time you're gonna point your feet when you stretch long, like you're streamlining in like a pool. Maybe like if you're ready to do backstroke, right? You'd be like kicking. When you swim your arms around the side of your body, flex your feet and curl yourself up. Can you come up a little higher than you did before? There you go. And then bring it up, down, make the pose as you get longer. And then flex your feet as you curl up. Right here, I want you to keep your heels down on the mat. Your legs are heavy. You're lifting the top half of your body, not the bottom half. Okay, just that little partial curl up. I'm gonna stay in the work zone. Yeah, there you go, Susan. Point and reach, flex and pull. Looking between your toes. Point and reach, flex and pull. Okay, still to lift. I'm gonna go for about 10 more seconds. And last one and pulling up nice job from here we're gonna roll over onto your side doesn't matter which one roll over onto your side bend your knees and press up and we're gonna come into a cross-legged position on the floor with your left foot in front yeah with your left foot in front just gonna turn slightly to the side forward fold stretch your back as you come forward with your left foot in front and if this cross legged position doesn't feel right from memory you can put some pillows underneath your booty i think this group is looking pretty good with this video and then from here we're going to slide ourselves up come into a back prop so your hands are behind and let's just push through the heel of your hand to open up your chest i have a point of feeling it's like a flash dance uh, moment here we go slide forward big stretch pull yourself up hands behind you lift up your chest slide forward and bring it on back. Beautiful. And I was talking with Terry the other day about facial expression. And try to tie some of those into your work. So when you're stretching forward, I want you to make a scrunchy, almost like mad face. And then when you open up, I want you to bring your eyebrows up and big smile, big toothy grin. Maybe even an open mouth grin. And then forward, kind of a scowl. And then eyebrows lift, big toothy grin. And maybe even sticking your tongue out and going there. There you go. Last one on this. And beautiful. All right, we're going to swing our hand over to the right. Touch the floor, good. And then just swing them in the up, almost up on the diagonal on the left. So it's like down on the right, up on the left. Down on the right, up on the left. Nice, good. Two more times. Last one here. Come down on the right and pause. From here, we're gonna roll onto the right hip. So this leg's gonna sort of twist to come into your side sit. Beautiful, and we're gonna reverse that. Don't get too comfortable. Your left leg's gonna need to open up and you push off, come into your sit, okay? And we can even go up on the diagonal there. So we're gonna go down, transition. This leg has to sort of flip through, good. Open up the hip and then up on the right. I'm sorry, the left. Down. Flip, up on the left, down, flip, 
Up on the left. Down flip. Up on the left. Last one. Down flip. Up on the right. Come down, flip, and pause. From here, push into your hands a lot. We're gonna bring those knees underneath you into quadrupeds. So you're gonna push into those hands a lot, slide your knees underneath you. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get to the other side in a second. We're now in hands and knees, the first time loading through our upper body. So sitting the hips back towards the heels and shift forward over your wrists. I chose to keep my toes untucked, my laces down for this first one. So you're stretching the top part of your foot and your ankle. Let's do one more of those. Beautiful, let's tuck your toes underneath. So now you're gonna be stretching the back side of your calf or the back side of your ankle, which is your calf and the bottoms of your feet. And we're just gonna work on that same rocking position, uh, same rocking movement, but now your toes are tucked. And you may have the sensation that this is a little bit more active, whereas the other one kind of feels more restorative, like kind of like a child's pose in yoga. Let's go two more rocks. And last one, beautiful. You're gonna take the leg that's furthest away from me and slide it forward to sit on your hip. Mm -hmm. And then don't get too comfortable. We're gonna come back up, bring yourself again into your hands and knees. Reset, beautiful. The leg that's furthest away from me, take a seat. Yep, and then back up. And furthest away from me, take a seat. Good, one more time. Furthest away from me, take a seat and reset here. We're gonna come into your cross-legged position, sorting out your legs with your left leg in front now. I'm sorry, your right leg in front, right leg in front, right leg in front. This is the opposite of what we did before, yes? Should I keep it all straight? All right, forward fold stretch. This is the scowl phase. Proud brow. Now it's like And then opening up, finding joy and extension. And the tongue. There you go. Forward, scowl. Good thing the scowl no one can see. And then going almost in opposition, brightness in your face. Right? Uh, scowl forward and opening up. Uh -huh. We have a new grandson in our family. And so my session with my dad yesterday was practicing funny faces for the grandson. <laughs> Forward and open. Beautiful. One more time. Beautiful. Centering up. We're going to go up on the diagonal right. Down on the diagonal left. Yep, and there's a little rock with it. That's perfect. Carrie, she knows where it's going up and rock. Up and rock. Up and rock. Okay, up and rock. Okay, right, last one. Okay, we're gonna add that little flip in your thigh. So we're gonna go up on the diagonal, down on the left. This leg's gonna flip through and you're gonna come almost into your side sit. Yeah, I'm gonna reverse that. That's a movement in your thigh. You gotta open up, push off, up on the diagonal. Mm -hmm. How seamless does that happen? Drop down, flip and rotate. Yep, up and reach, good. Start. Two more. And last one. Beautiful. From here, weight into your hands. We're going to transition into quadruped. So the knees are going to fold a little bit underneath you. We're going to push off the ground, slide the knees in. Yep. And then situate yourself in the middle of your mat if you shifted. Good. Let's have ready feet. 
We're going to be a little bit more in an active position, so tucking your toes underneath. We're going to round your spine as you sit back on your heels, so looking between your thighs as you sit back. And then when you come forward, we're going to come extension, eyes come up, tail flared. Okay, and we can kind of do that scowl and joy face as we do this. So as you fold back, round and tuck, scowl, push through your toes, extension, you're like bright eyed, wide, super curious. Rock back. I have no problem sounding and looking weird. <laughs> Round and pull. Last two. Last one, round and sit, eyes up, wide eyes as you come forward and through. Nice job. Now, the leg that's furthest away from me, I think it, it, hopefully it's the other side than you did before, yeah? The leg that's furthest away from me is gonna slide through and we're gonna sit on the hip. Don't get too comfortable. This is a transitional exercise. There we go, press up and return. Mm -hmm. Slide the leg through. Push off, the knee comes back to where it came from. Adjust. Slide the knee through. It takes a lot of hip mobility, rib mobility, spine mobility, shoulder strength, especially on that pushing off arm. Yeah, nice. Good, two more. And last one, all the way down. Beautiful, we're gonna rotate into crab. And here we are, still on our wrist, huh? Getting those wrists nice and strong. Separate your hands a lot so that some of the muscles in your hand can work as well. Tap your feet so that you get a little bit of proprioception and brain mapping, right? That's the same thing, proprioception and brain mapping in your feet. You're gonna say, hey, I'm gonna use my feet in this exercise. <laughs> Press into your feet to lift your hips up as high as you can go. Good hips come down, rock into your heels, dorsal the flex. There you go, the feet go flat, which means then you can use them to press up. Beautiful, and then you're gonna flex your feet as you bring the hips down. Let's do that a couple more times. Feet go flat, press, dorsal the flex, drop the hips. Feet go flat, press, dorsal the flex. Yeah, feet go flat, press and dorsal flex. Great job team, we're gonna go for four more. Three more. Two more. And last one. Nice. Scoot to the side of your mat. So you have space to roll over. We're gonna press off and come to hands and knees again. And then bring yourself up to the tall kneel position. Right here, we're gonna start with our hands behind our back. Go ahead and bow forward, but keep your chest lifted. So I want you looking at something beyond your mat so that your back doesn't round and collapse down. I want, I want some extension there in your spine. That's it, Susan, beautiful. And then belt buckle comes forward to bring yourself up, okay? A couple more times, hinge forward, bow forward, and then lift. Good, your eyes are lifted a little bit, so skewing extension in your body. Hinge, drive into those knees, press the hips forward. Looking good, team. Work at a pace that makes sense for you. We're gonna go for about 15 more seconds. And explore that. Like if your eyes are lifted and you're doing a really good job with that, do it with your eyes down and see what happens. Just in case you don't trust me. Like what happens? Feels a little less connected in your back, yeah? One more time, press up and stay up. We're gonna bring your left foot forward into a split kneel position. And it's gonna be a little bit on the diagonal. Yeah, carry further out with that foot, please. Yeah, there you go. We're gonna tuck the tail just a little bit and lean back slightly. 
and then lean into your foot. So you're going to feel a stretch maybe on your thigh, your hip flexor, your inner thigh, something around in there, and then lean back over your supporting leg, your standing leg. Okay. So tail tuck, a little bit of forward diagonal side, whatever, I guess it's diagonal lean into your foot. So leaning, there you go. And then return. Nice. Now when you lean, can you bring your eyes up? Beautiful. And then come up. Beautiful. Base of your sternum is up. Chest is lifted. Heart is proud. Good. Tuck your tail a little bit underneath you. I want you to be upright on top of your body, not falling into your leg. Good. Awesome. Let's reset, reset, replace that leg back where it came from. Same thing on the other side. Mm -hmm. So in this position, a little tail tuck and a little lean back, but a torso is lifted. Hands on your hips. We're just going to lean into that front leg. Maybe a little stretch. You're going to feel a hip flexor, inner thigh, quad. Chest is lifted to Q. You know, that extension, eyes are lifted. Nice. Keeping that inner thigh flexibility. Mm -hmm. Good. And remember, you're trying to get your knees to go over your toe. So leaning with your chest can kind of fake you out that you're doing the exercise. I want you to keep the chest upright so the knee goes forward. Mm -hmm. There you go. Maybe one or two more. And last one. Nice job. And then bring your foot in. Actually, I'm going to stay facing this way. All right, we're going to take our hips and bring them off to the left side here. So the hands are going to come down and the hips will come through. Beautiful. We're going to swing those legs out in front of us. Beautiful. We're going to swing them off to the left. Uh-huh. And then come up to a high kneel. And that's the exercise. All right. So you might swivel your feet a little bit to the right so there's some clearance there. If you need to put your hand down, put your hand down. The hips come down. The legs are just going to swivel out in front of us. So swivel out to the left. And then pressing on up. Okay, this is called the egg beater. Hips come down. Swivel. Swivel. And press. Nice. All right, work at your own pace. We're going to do this for another 20 seconds or so. Stay going in the same direction. I'll get you on the other side in, in a bit. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you could do it with no hands, even better. Or, mi or minimal hand contribution. Maybe one more cycle through that egg beater. It's okay to laugh at yourself. Uh-huh. Nice. So from here, we're going to tuck your toes. Your hands are going to come down to the mat. Push off through your hands to come into a little bit more of a squat. Yeah. And then roll through onto your knees. And we're just going to work on that transition from kneeling to squatting. Mm -hmm. If this doesn't feel fantastic on your knees, I just want you to be in your uh, quadruped position and work on rocking back to get your heels towards your uh, hips towards your heels. Okay. Otherwise, we're doing the roll through the feet. Mm -hmm. Try to keep your feet in parallel so the toes are facing forward. If we're missing some mobility in the toes, your body may want to externally rotate. It's one thing if that's just a habit, try to correct that habit being parallel. If you have arthritis in your toes and you're avoiding that because of pain, just do it, do what you can. Great. All right. Come into your high kneeling position again. We're going to go egg beater to the other side. Okay. So we're going to clear the space a little bit. Bring your feet to the left. Hips come down to the right. Swing the legs around. Walk them through. Switch them to the other side. Come into your high kneel. Mm -hmm. Drop. Swing. Swing. And lift, all right? Working at a pace that makes sense for you. 
cool, calm, and collected. Good control. Yeah. Oh, walking those legs around. Nice. Let's do one more cycle with the egg beater. Good, and then press on up. All right, we're gonna do another set of those roll through the toes. Same thing as before, we're just getting better at it. More experience, more mobility. You tuck your toes and you're either just gonna work on the mobility of getting your hips back and if you can rock into your feet a bit more. Maybe you even get to a point where you can lift your hands up and then the hands come back down and you bring your knees down. Okay, you can come out of the tension. So we drop. Mm -hmm. Nice. Again, making sure that those toes are facing forward or as much forward as possible. Let's go two more. Mm -hmm. Last one. Good. All right, here's the deal. We're gonna crawl forward to the front end of your mat. Doors to flex your feet. We're gonna come into your squat. And we're gonna end up sitting on your bum here. And bring the legs out in front. Or somehow find a transition with your legs out in front. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, we're gonna roll ourselves down to the ground. Take some time off of our knees here. Bring yourself into the biggest X that you can make on the floor. Take up space. Use your kinosphere. We're gonna curl ourselves up and roll onto your elbow that's closest to me. So there's gonna be a lift through the body, a lift through the head and neck, and you're gonna roll up and post up on that elbow towards me. Reach, reach, reach. Meanwhile, this leg is almost resisting you, pulling you back. Mm -hmm. We're gonna bail off this elbow, nice and slow return. The hip comes first, and then the rest of the body coils down. And then we bring the arm out into that X. All right, we're gonna do the same thing, but the other side. So arm comes up, curl the head and shoulders. So you're gonna push off that elbow, come into that deep rotation, reach. Again, that leg that's trailing is sort of resisting you. The hip's gonna come back first. You're gonna tuck your chin in and roll your spine down to the mat nice and slow, decelerating against gravity. All right, so this exercise in its essence is all about how well are you able to Roll up, post up, grab the remote on your side table, roll back down into bed and turn on the TV. <laughs> Something like that, okay? Here we go, roll up, reach down and return. Here we go, up and over, reach. Or maybe it's even rolling over, turning off the light and then rolling back to bed, <laughs> right? Nice, moving from side to side, let's go for about 15 more seconds. Reach and articulate. And up and over, reach. And articulate down. Very good, last two. One more on each side. Last one. You got it. And all the way through. Nice job. From here, scoot to the side of the mat that's furthest away from me. Roll completely over onto your side that's closest to me. So, so essentially you're laying on your side and you're able to still see me in, in, your, uh, in the camera. All right, we're gonna bend the knees up just a little bit. You can make a pillow with your bottom arm. Your hand's gonna come on top of your thigh here. We're gonna slide your thigh forward. So this is if your top thigh got longer than your bottom thigh, yeah? And then slide your thigh back. So this is if your top thigh got shorter than your bottom thigh. 
Okay. Here we go. A couple more times. So we're going to go forward and back. And you can kind of direct the movement too with your top hand, like pushing your leg forward and then pulling your leg back. Now make sure that your knees are tucked in enough so that you're actually getting this slide going. If they're too far down, it feels weird. You're like, what am I doing here? <laughs> right? So sliding forward and sliding back. Sliding forward and sliding back. Nice. It might feel kind of small. There's some movements happening there in your hips. We've talked about hip rotation and gait, how important hip rotation is just for your organ health and pelvic floor health. Let's do one more time. Very nice. We're going to roll forward and come up onto your elbows and then switch on to just your one elbow. All right, you're going to take that top leg and kick it out long. And your top arm is going to pull up on your waistline. So you're going to give yourself almost like a little self hug and be like, okay, we're going to feel those obliques and make sure that they're continuing to work. Lift and lower that top leg. It doesn't have to be high, but make sure that your waistline doesn't drop. You're going to feel it in your hand if you go slack. Okay. Doesn't have to be high in that top leg, just a little up and down. Very nice. If you're feeling your neck abs working, that's okay. They're supposed to be. Yep. So stabilizing through this whole bottom side so that you can get that nice leg lift. Can you dorsal flex your foot? We'll go for five more, three more, two more, and last one. Beautiful. Roll through and just let your head drop onto your hands so you can take a quick break through your neck. And then you're going to rotate open again and find that sweet spot. This time your top hand is going to stay on the floor. We're going to push through all the limbs that are touching the ground to lift your hip up off the ground. Yep, nice and high. And then the hip comes down and you can kind of rest. All right, push up, lift the hip up. There you go, Carrie, and then bring it down. Very nice. Push up and then down. Two more, push up and down. Last one, push up and down. Nice job. Let your, uh, your head drop into your hands for a little moment. You can rock your head side to side. And then we're gonna find that sweet spot one more time on this side, and then we'll switch. This time, your hand is gonna be on your hip instead of the floor. We're gonna do the same hip lift. If you find that you get into it and it's too much for you today, you can go back to putting the hand down, okay? This is just that final layer. So hand on your pelvis. Yep. Press your hips up. You're going to make that little side bridge. There you go. Squeeze your booty forward. And then the hips come down. Here we go. We got six more. Press. Six. Bring it down. Up. Five. Yep. Four. Three. You got it, two, and last one. Beautiful, and release, nice job. From here, we're gonna press up. You already know it, swing the legs to the other side. Slide yourself all the way down onto the mat. So you're still facing me and we get to switch sides. We're gonna start with that hip slide first. So you can rest your head on your hand. Top hand on your thigh. To help guide the sliding. Slide the top knee forward and then the bottom and then the top knee back. Very good. Slide, 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 slide. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Good, how much differential can you get? Last one. Very nice. Roll forward onto your elbows to transition. We're gonna come into that side plank positioning. And we have our little self hug here. Top leg is out long. All right, so we talked about lifting and lowering that top leg without letting your ribs drop down. So we're just gonna go up and down. Nice. Dorsa flex your foot. Beautiful. Good. 
Excellent. Let's go six more. One, two, heart open and proud. Three, fake it till you make it. Smile. Two, and one. Nice job. You can roll forward. Let your head rest in your hand. You can shake it out a little bit. We're going to come back to that position, that position. This time that top hand is going to be on the mat. Okay, top leg is still long. We're going to do those hip lifts with all the limbs helping out. One, two, three, press. And then back down. Good. Once you do the other version, the last version, right? This feels a little bit awkward. <laughs> You're like, I'm ready for the other one. Press up. And down. Very nice. Push up. And down. Push up. Rock on. You got two more. Mm -hmm. And last one. You got it. Rotate through, rest your head, shake it out. Okay, we have our last set on this side. Rotate open, hand on your hip this time. Again, if you get into this and you're thinking not today, you got your option with the hand down. Here we go, press up. Keeping that bottom hip open, the ribs are open, okay? Hand, and then hips come down. If you'd like to give yourself a little self-touch, wrap your hand around just like we did before and pull that up. It's like you're pulling yourself up with that top arm and then return. Mm -hmm. Here we go, push. And then return. Good, five more. One. Open up your chest. Two. Three. Four. And last one. Five. Nice job. From here, we're going to slide that arm through, roll onto your back, bend your knees up, mat width apart with your feet, and let your knees go from side to side. Very similar. Same thing that we did when we started. Give yourself a moment here. Yeah. All right. Here's going to be the tricky transition. We're going to end up on your stomach. If you have your own way of doing it, go for it. If you want to do it with a little bit of style, you're going to bend your knees in towards your chest. Start rocking and rolling to so lifting your head up. You can get some momentum by sort of pumping your feet. Mm -hmm. Get to a point where you can come up to a full seated position. Good. Maybe start to migrate even to one side of your mat. So you're gonna have some space to roll onto. So you're gonna come up into that seated position, the side where you have more space. You're just gonna rotate your body and roll and come onto your front. Mm -hmm. All right, your hands are gonna be right next to your side here. Let's go ahead and drop one ear to the mat. So again, getting a little bit of stretch in your neck. So kind of almost trying to see like how much ear and cheek can you get? I should say more ear. How much ear can you get on the mat? Press through the hands, press through your forearms. You can get enough lift so that you can spiral and turn your head to the other side and drop that ear down to the mat. And then push through, pivot through, and switch to the other ear. And as you're switching, I'd like you to send your nose down towards the mat. So not necessarily looking up, but getting that nice swivel through the center which asks for back of the neck string. Good, one more time. Love it. From here, we're gonna come up onto your elbows and you're in your little sphinx pose or in Pilates, we call it baby swan. So elbows underneath your shoulders, push the ground away, draw your belly button up a little bit. You're gonna take your right heel so right foot, you're going to flex the right foot and bend your right knee so that you bring your heel towards your bum, okay? There might be a little stretch through the quad. Maybe you get a little Charlie horse in your hamstring. Point your foot and then let the leg go out straight again. Same thing on the other side. Flex your right foot and then fold your knee so the bum comes towards your hip. Good. Point your foot and then let it go out. Rinse and repeat. Flex, bend, point and reach. Flex, bend. Point and reach. So a little bit of coordination there. Flex, bend, point and reach. Flex, bend, point and reach. 
Now, how's your posture up top? Did you let it sag while you got distracted? That's okay. Just re reinvest. Flex, point, bend, point, reach. Flex, bend, point, reach. You got two more. Flex, bend, point, reach. And last one, flex, bend, point, reach, and reset. From here, you're going to bring your hands underneath your shoulders. So, uh, like, let out your elbows. Press yourself back into a child's pose or a froggy stretch. So, child's pose is with your knees a little bit more narrow. Froggy is with your knees a bit more wide. Whatever feels most comfortable for you. And then sway just a little bit. We're gonna come out onto your front again. So go ahead and slide yourself out onto your belly again. And we're gonna continue being in the baby swan position. Bye Alana, have a good one. Continue being in this baby swan position. Bring your elbows a little bit more narrow. You're gonna take your left arm and hover it out to the side. Mm -hmm. Bring it back in. Take your right arm and hover it out to the side in the T. Okay, so a little bit of strengthening in your back. On the diagonals, maybe you feel your hips wiggle a little bit. Try to stabilize that by drawing your abdominals in. Good. Love it. Now, what would happen if you would reach back? So you're going to reach out to the side. And you're going to reach back and maybe touch your foot. So your foot's going to bend and you're going to maybe touch it. Yep, do you have that flexibility? Nice. Send that leg out long. Other hand comes up and around, touch or grab your ankle and then bring it back through a rinse and repeat. So you can do this with the touch or without, but starting to bring your hand a little bit back behind you, holding your knee in. We're kind of comboing some of the things that we've done into one flow. You got it. Let's go for two more there. Finish on the side that you didn't start with. And then we're going to bring our hands down to our shoulders, press back into a child's pose or a froggy stretch, and let yourself sway. Mm -hmm. We're going to start to bring ourselves a bit more upright onto our feet. Go ahead and bring your knees together. Now, if you have a way that you want to get up to stand, be my guest. We're going to do, uh, I'm going to show you this version. So we're gonna tuck those toes, roll into your squat. Uh-huh. Maybe you go one hand, no hands. Your hands can come onto your knees and you're gonna push up from there. Good, let's try that again. Come down into your squat, bring your hands down to the mat and then roll through your toes to let your knees drop. So we know this part. Mm -hmm. And the cue that really helped carry the other week was bringing your eyes up. So you're gonna come into your deep squat Get yourself ready. Bring your eyes up and then stand. It's gonna be a much, a lot more quiet. Yeah. Walk around your room, see how you feel. And we're gonna to come to the center of the mat and just do a little body scan check in to finish up. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and step to your center. And then look down and see how your feet landed. Are they offset, duck footed, pigeon toed, turned out, whatever. How do they look? Hopefully they're a little bit more neutral, meaning parallel feet and then even. Notice where your weight shift is. Are you in your heels and do you feel your toes dancing around or are you a little bit more grounded through your feet, maybe even leaning forward? What about your knees? Buoyant in your knees, your hips. Buoyant in your hips, easy in your hips. Beautiful, what about your spine? Do a couple of those rag dolls. All right, and then swinging those arms up. Beautiful, and then the Michael Salt slap. Mm -hmm. And then turning your head to the left, turning your head to the right, so that it's feeling a little bit better. And then we're going to finish with some bounce. So start bending and kind of letting your body go, and maybe even bouncing in your ankles, and maybe actually doing a hop. Let all the jiggly bits jiggle. Let it happen. 
like even your jaw. Oh, 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 oh. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice job. March or walk around the room to finish. Grab a sip of your water on the way. Excellent work, team. I'm going to turn off the recording. Let me know if you have any questions or comments.